this week when I'm a face shop shop. We go to hospital. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of LFA Shop Shop. This week, this video is split into two halves. We've got the first half being the Dodge cab. So I cut up the A-frame, make a frame for the Dodge, and then roll that around the back of the shed. And then the second half, we get the beams back in the K25 and see how it all fits. So this was actually supposed to be two episodes. Um, the Dodge was supposed to be one episode of me cleaning it up and moving the thing. And the second part was getting the engine in the K25, getting it all mounted, bolted down, and ready for the engineers to inspect it. But that didn't happen. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of El Jefe Shop Shop. This week, we're going to move some stuff in the yard. Alright, so a couple episodes ago, I said about moving the A-frame and the Dodge cab around the back of the shed. So I decided yesterday that this thing kind of serves no purpose anymore because once I get a hoist, I'll be able to do it all, we'll do it all with that. And it's also going to be really ugly for my neighbours if it's down the side of the shed. So I'm going to cut this up and use the steel for a different project. And then this top section will be, I don't know, scrap or I'll have to get something, do something with it. So it could be a, I don't know, grind rail for a skateboard or something like that. So you just want these two long pieces and that shorter also long piece. And I'm going to make a frame for the Dodge. So it's currently sitting on a little frame, which is good for the concrete, but when we try and go off-roading, not so great. So the plan is to make a slightly bigger square of frame that fits the Dodge nice and comfortably. And then I've got some big um, 26 centimeter wheels, um, so it'll be nice and high off the ground and they're all pneumatic and better for off-roading. So I'm going to try and make a square frame similar to that one but with some big wheels out of that stuff. So step one is to cut all this up. Step two is go in the shed and lay it all out and try and weld something up and make a frame. All right, so I've got the four main posts cut out and then I've got the two bottom ones which I'll use for reinforcements later so these longer ones I'm gonna to have to cut down to the sizes I need um, so this box that I'm making or this um, platform is gonna be 2 by 2.2 and then I've got a piece of 50 by 50 to use as a crossbar as well so these are 50 by 75 so I'm gonna set up inside now and cut these to length and then start welding things into a square All right, so we've got the four main sides all cut up. So we've got two 2.1s and two two meter ones. So then when you overlap them, it ends up being 2.2 by two. So now I need to square this up and tack it together. Alright, so I've got the main frame welded. Um, there's one more join on each of the four corners to do, but to do that I want to get it off the ground. So what I'm going to do is grab the wheels I've bought, weld them onto this side, flip the whole thing over, and then weld the uprights on the outside edges. Okay, so I've got the two extra pieces cut up and got the ends off of them. So now I'm going to grind the welds off, which you can see, and then weld them into the main frame. So this is, that was a bit miserable cutting that off, um, but we've done it now. So just grind them smooth and then weld them into this guy.
Hey guys, welcome to another episode of LFA Shop Shop. This week, we're gonna put the engine back in the K25. All right, so the last episode on the K25, I finished about 10 minutes ago. Um, that paint's still drying. So I did notice when I was filming the outro that I didn't make these panels, which I completely forgot about. So I need to make one of those on either side, but I'm gonna cheat and cut up this front end and weld that in. Alrighty, that bit's done. So they're not the greatest, but you can kind of see what I was going for. Just trying to blend in this corner and blend in this corner. Um, I did blow a couple holes in this corner, so I'm a little bit annoyed about that. But it looks good enough, and you'll never see it once the bumper's in and everything. Um, you will really never see it, but it's just one of those things that I wanted to try and get some practice in. So I'm just going to paint these black, and then might do some shaving the engine bay stuff off camera. And then later today, I'm going to try and get the engine in there and see where we can get it to sit. All right, first order of business to make this engine fit. I'm gonna bring this uh, cut here out to about just inside that uh, panel you can see there. Just bring it in maybe an inch or so. Same on the other side. And then also that piece of metal just there, which is a bit of a flap, cut that guy off so I get a bit more height. Because uh, the guys that were doing this beforehand, so Josh, the guy I bought the car off of, and Tim, the guy that was doing the work for it, um, they were decided. They had decided to keep as much stock firewall as they could, um, just try and keep it looking reasonably factory. So I'm gonna try and leave a little bit of a lip along here, um, so I can have something to weld to later when I do make another firewall. But I'm happy to take it a bit wider, redo this hole down the back here, and I'm also gonna smooth a bunch of stuff off. So let's dig into making this slightly bigger to make my life a bit easier when we try and get the engine in and in the right spot. All right, so that's a much cleaner cut now. And across the top is actually three layers. It is now two because I've taken one off, obviously. Um, this section just out of shot there is actually reasonably rusty. Um, it's not all the way through, but it is close. So I'm probably gonna have to take that off anyway. Um, I've drilled all the way through each of those three layers and then I can weld from the top when I go to the, put the firewall back in. Um, as for this guy, he may end up smaller, may end up bigger, I don't know. And this is obviously a bit janky, but for now, I have room for an engine, so let's get on to that. Tim is here, and we are trying to get the gearbox and the engine in. We need to chop the back of the um, where the seat cross member is. This guy, we need to cut that out some more so the gearbox can go back and also left. And then we can get the gearbox mount in, and then we can work out the front end of town. So just after this clip was filmed, the following day I went out to make a new cam cover for to cover the timing belt for the beams and I got about 5 minutes in and broke my thumb. So I was drilling a piece of steel, it was like 25 by 1 mil flat steel, holding it with my meat clamps because I'm an idiot and drilling into it. Uh, the hole grabbed, the drill turned sideways and the piece of 25 mil strap wrapped around the drill and pulled my thumb in. So I have broken the end of my thumb, put some photos up of the x-ray but that is pretty much all for now um, I can't film anything for a little while so unfortunately that's it for this week thank you for watching we'll see you next week